everyone I'm here to show you all how I do a very simple yet flawless face this is good for every day especially if you want to go to work but still have a beat face it's almost a no makeup makeup look however you are very clearly beat <laughs> I already washed my face and moisturized and filled in my eyebrows I used this lip liner, TNK I believe, is rubbed off, but it's in brown. So I use brown lip liner on my eyebrows. But I'm going to moisturize again since it has been a while. Now I'm going to use Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now I'm using Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer and this is the brightening one. So I'm only going to use that in the areas where I would like to highlight. Now I have Fashion Fair Foundation Stick in Tender. I'm only going to apply this to problem areas where I have hyperpigmentation. A little goes a long way with this foundation and it's very buildable. Now I have Black Opal Concealer in Tan and I'll be using this to define my brows. Now I have LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee and I'll be using this to highlight under my eyes and my eyelids. My eyelids tend to be a bit darker and I like to brighten them up. I'm going to blend it out with the sponge. I'm going to wet it first. Just a little bit with the water primer. And I'm going to just blend it out. You see what a difference highlighting your eyelids and your under eyes makes? I look like I got eight extra hours of sleep and I look three years younger maybe not I think makeup looks me look older actually <laughs> that's because I have a bit of a baby face do you know how old I am my nose and right there Now I'll be using Laura Mercier's setting powder, this translucent. I'll just be using a little bit to set my highlight. I don't want to mattify my whole entire face. I prefer a dewy look. This isn't the ideal brush to use, but this is what I have handy, so bear with me please. Now I'll be using the Missy Lynn palette to do a really neutral eye. I'll be using these three, four. So I just used this bronzy one as my transitional color. Now I'll be using this one 
in the same area but just slightly closer to the crease. Now I'll be defining my crease a bit with this one. And now I'll be using this one on my lid and as an under eyebrow highlight. Now I'll be using this gel eyeliner in black. I don't want a too dramatic of an eye, so I'll just be lining the, my waterline. Now I'm using this Estee mascara to bring my eyelashes back. Now I'm going to contour my face a bit. I have this NYX contour and highlight palette. I'll just be using a little bit of the darker shade. Now I'm going to be using this big bronzer. Is this from NYX? No, this is from e.l.f. I'm gonna just put that right on top of the area that I just contoured. This will bring a shimmer to it and give it a more of a sun-kissed look. Now I have uh, this Fashion Fair blush in bronze, but it's a really a dark peachy kind of color. Mm -hmm. Now I'll be using this Shea Moisture Illuminator in Vanuatu Nude. I probably just butchered that name, but I'll just be using this above my cheekbones in my highlight area right here. This product is really buildable, so I'll just put maybe two, two layers for now. And I'll also put that down my nose and middle of my forehead. on my chin I just put on a baby lips chapstick to condition my lips now I'll be using this LA colors liquid foundation which I don't recommend that you use this on your face because it's two dollars and I learned my lesson on buying two dollar foundation. I just thought that oh I like the LA color concealer. Maybe I can try the foundation. Uh-uh. But I haven't thrown it out because I feel like it is um pretty good for when I want to do um a nude lip, I guess. I also like to set this with translucent powder. That really helps to keep it in place. But I don't really like the way it's looking right now, so I'm gonna put on a clear gloss. Setting spray. 